Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and time once again for my cast. Um, and let me intro this music real quick. This is gonna be, uh, Apparition Gauntlet, The Beckoning House. Not, not really feeling Dungeon Synth right now, but all the, um, all the other stuff I'm looking for is all copyrighted. So, and then, technically it's a bit of a gamble with this, but usually Dungeon Synth is, uh, seldom if ever copyrighted. So... Going with the safer option. Let me um. Uh, so let me go ahead and get this fired up. Oh, and um, uh, there's there's gonna be a fair amount of moving parts on here, and like yesterday, this um this might be a fairly long cast as well. So just get ready for some mistakes to be made. Oh, okay. To start with. Well, I I hurt my chest and my I hurt my I hurt my chest and shoulders doing dips. Um, I do them off I do them off my kitchen counter. Um, it just I did like uh, five or six reps and all of a sudden, oh fuck, oh my chest! Like I was I was kind of feeling it like right along the collarbone. So and then um I also felt it along my arm. Uh, along the sides of my shoulders, or my, which, strangely enough, my outer shoulders, which doesn't really make any sense, so I'm wondering maybe I was just, uh, I was just doing them flat out wrong or something, but, but luckily, I don't, I'm at a point now where I only really do exercises like once a week, and even then, they're only, um, I'm only either doing, uh, either neck, chest, and inner thigh exercises, muscles that I hardly ever use. So, just focusing on the weaknesses. So, so hopefully I'll have, a, I'll have a whole week to recover from that. But, um, otherwise, not a not a super busy, not a, excuse me, not a super busy night, but, uh, just a little more active than yesterday, where I was pretty much dead as a doornail. Um, one thing I started doing is, uh, I started watching, a I started watching a play, a playthrough of Doom Eternal. I think I tried watching most, if not all of it, like, I'd probably say about a year ago. Um, it was done by a guy named Zero Master. He's like, I think he's like one of the, uh, how do I put this? He's probably one of the most celebrated Doom content creators out there. He, uh, he also did, uh, but he even plays, uh, he plays old fashioned, like the old 90s Doom games too. In fact, uh, in fact, yeah, I think there was, uh, oh God, what's the name of it? I, for, I forget the name, but it's like, uh, it's like a classic Doom scenario, like it was. It like came out like sometime this week. But yeah, he was uh he was uh, working on that one as well. But um, I was also uh, but I also decided to go ahead and fire up some uh a Portal Two run through as well. This is another one that um I hadn't watched in probably at least a year. So, just never, never actually played the game. So yeah, that's probably um. In case anyone asks, yeah, I've never um. Not a big, not big on first-person shooters, except maybe like classic Doom. But even then, it's um. I'd only play it as like a last resort. Like if I'm just absolutely uninterested in anything else, I might play Doom. But like I said, I'm not, not a big first-person shooter kind of person. But it's, it's good to watch, though. Um, I even watched a... I watched a Portal 2 speedrun. Like, uh, sometime... Like, a long time ago, so... Well, you know, it's, all, it's always good to return to the classics. And once again, I kind of goofed here, so let me... Let me rectify this. Uh, 
and uh, for for some for some odd amount of time after my stream last night, I did my usual, fired up some Killer Instinct. Um, did um, it's called it's called Shadow Lords mode. Or er, here. Actually, no, I kind of did this out of order. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and kill the music. But uh, I kind of, I kind of need to talk. Uh, I need to talk game tutorials here. So, I mean, I played a little bit of Killer Instinct, but I also played some of uh, Guilty Gear Rev Two as well. So let me. Convey. I'll go ahead and uh, just, I'll throw the in-game music on. Let me have sound check it. And. This music, it seems to be safe to use because I didn't get a, I didn't get copyright. My uh, yesterday's video didn't get copyright claimed, so I think I'm okay. So, but um, I kind of need to talk tutorials, actually. Okay, but I've done this once before. I um I did the tutorial on here, which actually I think um I think it was one of the Core A gaming videos that said it has a it has a really good tutorial out there. Here, I'll I'll just I'll just. Show this. But um, I've said this about Killer Instinct too. One of my gripes on these tutorials is I, I don't want to play. I don't want to play a soul bad guy. I mean, I want to play Potemkin, like he's the big grappler in this game. But I'm stuck with having to learn. I'm basically having to learn Saul. So you know, and I and I get it. You know, Potemkin, he has uh. He has a different movement type than Saul does, but you know, there's you know other ways around it. But like like I said, Killer Instinct was the same thing. I want to play Hisako, but when I'm doing the tutorial, I'm forced to use Jago. So, you know, but this game this game's the same thing too. I don't I I don't want to play Saul. But let me let me go ahead and move on. And um, I, if I'm guessing right, this is one of the first games that had this kind of tutorial. If you've ever played Fantasy Strike, this, the tutorial on there it mirrors almost exactly this. Even right down to the attack me to advance part of a tutorial. Yeah, like I said, this is this is probably one of the first games that has the Okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to dash while in the air. Or I could just done that. So, but like I, like I said, it's, um, 
But like I said, it's it's actually one of the uh, one of the better tutorials out there. So, but like I said, there's a. Uh, but uh, on the downside, it. I mean, uh, Roman canceling, like as you see here, you know, it it is part of the it is part of the game itself. Okay. But um, but, I mean, look at all this. So you get to learn. You gotta learn to do combos on here, and. And this is and this is just the basics. And then you got I've never been here before, so I won't do it here during this cast video. This is probably gonna be something I'd probably do on a stream or something. But um I I checked this out too. Mission. I mean universe if you if you can see over here look at all this. all that and this is universal now now to be to be fair you're not required to learn all your or you're not required to pass all these in order to play the game but on, on the other hand too I've got I've, I've got a very hard time believing that uh believing that uh, even the pros are gonna know every single aspect. There's a, uh, there's 52 missions, I guess, I guess they call it. There's 52 missions on here you have to do, and they're all jump, jump and stall, fuzzy guard. Again, I got a tough time believing that even the pros are gonna know every single one of these. It's all matchup tutorial. So I guess um, and this is all. These are all Saul too. Like these have nothing to do with any of the other characters. Like I said, it kind of goes back to what I was saying about Killer Instinct. I want to play Asako, not Jago. In this game here, I want to play Potemkin. Not Saul, but yet... Oh, here we go, here we go. I just had to scroll down a little bit. Yeah. Wait. You know, I mean, this is an... I mean, this is an awful lot of stuff that you'd have to learn. And... Tutorial. And I don't know how many, uh... I don't know how many tutorials there are in here. I mean, and no, and no, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying, oh, hey, I don't want to do these, these are too hard, or anything like that, it's just, it seems like an awful lot of stuff you have to learn to play, you know, play a game like this, it's like they're trying too hard, um, Killer Instinct, kind of the same thing, and kind of a, Kind of a kind of an off story about this too. Sorry if this doesn't make any sense, but you know, when my parents were teaching me how to drive, I mean, I was, I mean, I was pretty much scaring the living hell out of them. You know, my, you know, I'd be driving down the street, uh, my mind would kind of wander off, and all of a sudden, you know, my stepmom, Joe, look out! You're gonna hit that car! Hit the brakes! <laughs> you know, slam the brakes just before I, you know, I rear-ended this guy. There was also another time where I was pulling into the girl, you know, pulling up the driveway. Um, you know, Joe, slow down! I accidentally hit the accelerator instead of the brakes, and my stepmom's like, "Ah!" You know, I slammed the brakes, and you know, just before I hit the garage door. Um, my sister went through the kind of went through the same thing. She was turning into the driveway. She she didn't turn the she didn't turn the wheel sharp but up and ended up uh slamming into the rear corner of this other car that we had at the time. She's the whole time. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm a bad driver. I'll never drive again for as long as I live. You know? But you know, despite all the scares we were giving our parents while you know, while we're learning to drive, 
they still drove us down to the DMV, and they they still had us take our do our driver's license test. I mean, and despite all the screwing up we did, we still passed. I mean, granted, I was a complete failure when it came to parallel parking. But I mean, every other aspect of the drive the driving test, I did all right. Um, you need a minimum of 75 out of 100 to pass. I got like 85. So, you know, I think my si my sister passed her driving driving test too. All this despite the fact that she was in tears because she, you know, she, she re-rented another vehicle. But, I mean, you know, but yet, again, our parents just drove us down to the DMV to have us drink our driver's license test as well. anyway. You know, they're probably figuring, you know, we're gonna have to learn we're gonna have to be able to get our own vehicles at some point you know we're gonna have to be able to drive at some point you know that my you know our parents can't be chauffeuring us everywhere we have to go so they just went ahead and took the plunge and you know got our license so as it kind of pertains to this i mean you know it it's kind of a you know it again it's I want it basically it's TMI. I think um I mean you want you want a tutorial, obviously. Tutorial. You know? I you know, I guess to put something out there, these first four these first four tutorials are enough. Enough to get you going. So but also like sorry to sound like a broken record, but in all fairness you're not required to do these before playing the game. I mean, they're helpful, but like, a, you know, it wasn't like a Gran Turismo. That's the game I was thinking of. It's an old, oh, well, uh, it's an old driving game for the PlayStation 1. In that game there, you couldn't drive at all. You couldn't play any of the games until you uh, passed all the driving tests. So that, no, wait a minute. I think you could, no, wait, I think you could do like the, uh, like the single player, you can you can do a single driver on a selected track or something like that, but you couldn't do like a career mode or something. I can't remember, it's been many years, but that was one thing that uh, kept me from playing uh, Gran Turismo. I couldn't uh, do all the, uh, I couldn't get my driver's permit or anything like that. So again, in, at least in this game here, you can still play the game. But like I, like I said, it just, Mission. I've, I've got a very hard time believing that even even the best pros like Pog, Justin Wong, and whatnot are going to know all 52. And, or, even if they did. Yeah, see, that's something else I was trying to... In fact, let me, uh... Yeah, I won't need to switch. When I was streaming Killer Instinct, one of the guys on there, um, Uncle Scar Scar or something like that, he, he kind of implied that I needed to do every all all the tutorial stuff that it's basically required but as like i was telling him you know it, it's gonna get to a point where it's not even tutorial stuff it just becomes more of a combo trial in fact um let me go ahead and bail out of that and i'll go ahead and pull up killer instinct and i'll show you what i'm talking about Yeah, screen's gonna go black here. Or let me, let me go ahead and throw that on. It's gonna be a little while till uh, Killer Instinct comes up. All right, so let me minimize all the windows. And again, I have to. I basically have to do a form of lock picking in order to get Killer Instinct to work the way I want it to. So let me do that again. Killer Instinct should be up. Nope. Let me... Alright, so... Alright, I'm on my OBS right now. Let me fix this. This should be coming up at any time. There we go. So, all 
See, now I'm entering the, um, this is the dojo, this is, um, same thing to tutorial, but, you know, against all that you need, you know, basic stuff. You know, basic combos with combo assist. And, uh, I need a assist. There we go. So let me go back on my OBS and make sure it checks out. All right, it does. But now, but just like I said on uh, Rev th or Rev Two, I don't want to play Jago. I want to play a Sako. So you know, and then and now we're starting to get into and now we're starting to get into to me more advanced stuff. I don't. To me, I don't need to learn this part. Breaking Jago's auto doubles. Okay, uh, combo breakers. Um, you mean there wasn't there wasn't anything like that back here? No, there. Yeah, something like this you don't really need. I mean, the special moves are already in the pause menu. I mean, down forward and a punch button. Uh, down back and a kick button. Performing an ultra combo. We yeah, have performing juggles and wall splats. Here, I'll show you this. And this is the one I'm stuck on, but. Oh, this kind of shows you a demo, but. But usually, usually I'll skip that because I'm going to forget. I'm going to forget most, if not all of it anyway. But, I mean, look at the lower left corner. Okay. So, it, it's like I was telling... It's like I was telling Scar Scar. You know, it's getting to where these things are starting to resemble more combo trials than there are an actual tutorial. get the idea here and even then you know. that's still pretty impressive but you know same thing here And even then, there's uh, advanced stuff. And this, yeah, again, this is this is actually part of a tutorial. You know, and it's also like I said on Rev Two. You know, I can't I can't help but think that uh, even the best pros don't know every single part of these, every single one of these. Um, but, um, but here, let me, uh, let me pull it up real quick. You know what, uh, you know what I think, what, you know, you know what game I have, that I think has a great tutorial? So, let me, this is going to be a few moments. Yeah, I guess, I guess while we wait. I'm going to start closing out some of these windows that I'm no longer going to need. Quitsies. My all-time favorite 2D game, or 2D fighter. Excellent tutorial.
I mean, I mean, hell, there's there's even this. You know, there nothing in here is rocket science. You don't have an umpty zillion things you have to learn. You gotta. There, these are basically reflex tests. You have free training, okay? Here's tutorial. Okay, there we go. Move right. There we go. Two taps. There we go. See? further and he comes off faster Now, granted, yeah, this is a, this is a much simpler game, but you, you kind of get the idea in this tutorial. You kind of get the idea here. I mean, they're they're not uh, over embellishing, for lack of a bit, lack of a better word. the uppercut. And I think uh, probably one of the biggest reasons why this is my favorite tutorial, I, if I remember this, hopefully I don't accidentally skip it. do it three times. it right here. That's all this net rules you need to know to play the game. There are more technical knowledge, but it's better to learn those in a real match. So, again, just kind of a review. All that all that stuff you saw in those other tutorials, I mean, I'm, I mean, I know I'm going to forget half of it. I mean, maybe at best, if, yeah, try playing versus CPU or players and learn the winning pattern from them. With punt, and then you got this here too. But that's that's it. You only got you don't have you don't have combo trials in here.
geht so. So, but I, you know, I almost should have just made a whole video unto itself about tutorials. But like, but like I said, this, it's, it's, it's pretty much been on my mind most of the night ever since, uh, playing Rev 2 and Killer Instinct. You know, you know, here's, you know, here's the steering wheel, here's the, the brake pedal, and here's the accelerator pedal, and here's the clutch pedal if the car you're driving is a standard. You know, but the rest, ultimately, it's going to be on you. You know, and, and once, you know, once again, I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, but, you know, when it gets to where, it gets to where it becomes less of a tutorial and it becomes more of a combo trial. You're not, because when I'm doing those, I'm not really actually learning anything. The only thing I'm learning is, uh, Learning, uh, learning a specific pattern by rote, you know, by repetitious. I'm not really learning how to, you know, guess ranges or, you know, you know, stuff like that. I mean, the technical shit. That stuff, that stuff here, ultimately, you're going to have to go in and play. So I think all a tutorial should be is just kind of a bare bones, just teaching you the basic fundamentals that you're always going to need to know. You know, for for the game and not having to learn all this technical, you know, you you kind of you kind of get the idea. I mean, they're making it too much like rocket science. So, but, but anyway, um, well, like well, like I said yesterday, or this, or excuse me, just like yesterday, this video kind of went pretty long, so. Yeah, so I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. So it's probably like yesterday. This is going to be a pretty big video, uh, pretty big file size. So the sooner I get on the uploading, the better. So I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. Uh, but otherwise, thanks, uh, thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And I hope I didn't confuse everybody too much on that. So, but otherwise, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then... Thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.